Guys, we're back. Freaking hell. So annoying. Because I freaking kicked the thing. I kicked freaking saved. Please save freaking save. I'm gonna be mad. Without a working camera or a Good, it's saved. Okay guys, we're back. I don't know freaking why I did that stupid shit. Cause I don't know why I did that fucking shit. It pissed me off. Cause when I like my um cord is very sensitive. Cause when I touch like like kick the cord in the wall by accident and it turned off my PS5. Like Oh my god, I need to get another one because it's sensitive. And like it cuts out if you just touch it, which is stupid. Like, if you just move it a little bit. I think it's because of my freaking... My blinds in the way, and then, like, it pulls it out, which is silly. Because it's up, up against my desk. Uh, my desk is up against my window. And if I put my feet out too much, it pulls it out. <laughs> because something was stuck on it, and I pulled it out, so... Well... Okay, guys, we're back. Let's say we're back. So, I don't know why. It, it didn't save because it made a new whole stream again, which I'm upset about, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. It is all good. Cause we are back, though. We are back, which is good. We are back. Guys, we are back. We are back. Mm-hmm. We are back. Okay. <sighs> check, check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're here. We are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Starting again. I guess that's it then, huh? Because last... Oh, sorry, I'm just... We're here, we're here again, because I don't know why I kicked out the cord. We're here again. This, mm. Huh? Just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? No, nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Wrapped out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. You might yes, want. I want my ears on hot now. Oh. Oh. It's different. Keep them hot. What? It's different. It's a different dimension or something. No, oh no, 18, 1980. Okay. It changed. Though. But I'm gonna open my chips. I'm gonna eat some. I'm gonna eat some of my chips while this happens. So, hold on. So dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So. Oh, sorry, um, them t-shirts are in DVD now. You can get them. 
So yeah, that's good. Survivors, survivors can wear them, which is hmm, interesting. So yeah. It'll just be me. So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have She's anything so dramatic. to do with his time? Like, you're so dramatic. I don't really like you, girl. Like, sure. Hill is not exactly a noted hot of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up. What now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think. Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> And you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like... Our steel mill, where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. We do get reporters asking around sometimes. Really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> What? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I don't really like her. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. I said, Hame might be the missing boy, but I don't think so. Maybe he is. Who knows? He maybe, he maybe was the baby. But he said he was a baby there. So maybe that was him. But he, he wouldn't know he was a baby, would he? Because he was a baby. But, like, Sheriff Green probably... Or people just probably... You know. I don't know. But let's just say that he might have been it, I'm thinking. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah. The thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. 
Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? <clears throat> hey, okay. You okay? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. That's your mm, sister. Didn't right? sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my yep. whole life in New York to your come sister. home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about... Is that... That sounds like, um... Sorry if I keep pausing. But, like... What's... Um, no, I forgot her name now. That girl from the start. She, it looks like she was... I feel like she's Bonnie as her mom. Because she said New York, so... Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks? That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Huh. You guys really... In them days, $20 was a big deal. Because a lot of things was very cheap back in that day. Like, things were very cheap back in that day. It was. So, 20 bucks is a lot of money in them. For, for that. To be honest. So, for them. So, yeah finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris.
Sorry, I have to finish chewing. Hold on. I feel like the shop, the drugstore would make... I feel like the drugstore would make us spend more money, so... And I wanna... I'm probably... I, at, I certainly am curious regarding said shop, eh? Yeah, because there might be yes, some trinkets there, you know? Lead the way. So... Yeah. Show us this. Oh, oops, sorry. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Hmm. Ourselves at home? Hmm. Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. Maybe this one? Oh. Huntress! Put all the... Oh, cute bunny. Huntress! Miss Huntress! Miss Anna! Take a picture of that. Miss Anna! Miss Anna. Miss Anna. See, told you. Told you coming here is a good idea. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look. Let's talk Let's say hypothetically antique she does shops. find a camera for us. Have a lot of stuff. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I was just going to say something before. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's going to have his eyes glued to the front gates. Mm. No way we can get back in again. The back exit. Definitely. Hmm. Chat. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Oh, I picked my nails before. Like, my fingernails. And now it's really sore because I think I hurt. Picked it too much. Um. Was there anything else? Oh, a baby. But I feel like that baby was fake, though. Like, as a trap, because some serial killers Surely do that. Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. But I don't know if that baby was real anyway. We still didn't see the baby. <gasps> the artist. Slash the crow. You know, the crows. And Dead by Daylight. The crows and Dead by Daylight. Slash the artist. Giving artist vibes, also. Hmm. <gasps> so here. 
Oh my god. <clears throat> oh! That's um... Isn't that Legion's thing? Oh no. I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> Not the TV. We turn it on. Um, bot. Oh my god. Girl, uh, stop promoting. Oh my god. Girl. No. Stop. Oh. Oh, hi. Sorry, please don't promote it in my in my Twitch, please. I already have banner artwork on my channel, on my YouTube channel, so it's all right. I don't need banner artwork on here. I I have banner artwork, but I haven't put it up though. So yeah. Turn this on. Who would want to watch this creep fest? the same TV. Um, sorry. No, thank you. Asking weird questions. I said no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't... I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. <gasps> the blights. I mean, not blight. Um, the Rafe's weapon. Bye, girl. People were oxing. I don't know why. Girl, you don't promote in my channel, please. Because I already got people that... That does my badness for me. So I don't need... You know? <gasps> the Trapper! My favorite killer! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Aw, cute. <laughs> Trapper. No. <laughs> oh, so cute. My favorite killer. My first killer, actually, not my favorite, but. Ooh. Mm. She's behind there. Can I talk to her? Oh, no, she's she back. comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Hold on, I need to go. Um, I need to go fill up my drink bottle. I'll be back. And plus, it's hot, so I need to hydrate. I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <sighs> I don't know why that girl was in here. Like, go away. Like, she if she's not watching me, asking other questions. She was like, oh, I could do your banner for you. Like, no, girl, sorry. And then she kept doing it, asking weird questions. Lauren Hardy. Weird. Ugh. I don't have a banner. I know I don't. And that's... Do I have a banner? Or no? Do I? Let me see. Let me see. Channel. No, I don't have a banner, but I have... Let me see. No, I don't have a banner. But, like, you don't need a banner, because... What? Yeah. You don't really need a banner anyway. For Twitch, because the video goes over it. You just need a profile picture. I don't know what she's asking about. And my stuff's in my about me anyway, so... If she harasses me again... Then... Yeah, because I said no. Because I got people on Fiverr, this person that made my banner... For my YouTube channel, so... Yeah. And I like his designs, so yeah. Okay. Uh, and I got, um... I got a muffin and I got filled up my drink bottle. Oh no, where is it though? Oh, here. Yeah. My drink bottle. Oh, I tripped over. <laughs> Don't kick my thing again and turn it off. It'll be careful. Okay. Um, I got a muffin. Got muffins here. Because I'm just having snacks. Because, yeah. Because it's good to have snacks. Have munchies when you're playing slash watching horror movies. You know. Because this is technically, you're playing this game. We're playing this game. We're watching the story unfold. You know. So like. Need snacks, you know? Need snacks. Right. Okay, let's continue. Yes. Whoa. Mm. But may I? It's twenty dollars. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Twenty bucks. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind, handmade. It's for luck. Mm. If it's for luck, we need it. A mirror to shine the light on the entity. Yes. Yes. We need that. Magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. We need that. Yes, we need that. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? We need a mirror. We need a mirror. So. Hmm. So we can shine on the entity, blah, blah, blah. Because we know we watched the trailer. I guess we could use it. We watched the trailer, so we know the entity is going to be in this game, you know, so. Prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. She is creepy, though. <laughs> she is creepy, but... She gave us a Wait, mirror, though, guys. to oh, help I'm us. such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. 
Wait, Chris, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter! Emergency sock quarter? Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Hmm. Oh! <clears throat> Look! The surviving footage of this scene those Dean never face observe, observe a strange rolling of fog in the desert background. Perhaps this was really something lurking in the desert. Guys. Hmm. I'm taking a screenshot of this. Mm. 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 Oh, burgers. Oh, that's a password. That's a password. If I know, that's definitely a password, guys. Okay. That's definitely a password. I need to take this picture of this or write this down. That's a password. Okay. C U O six. Is it O six or zero six? Six O six. Yeah. Then white. Then another thing is W O. Or is that actual password for the shirts, maybe? When you go into a DVD, I don't know. Cause is that... Is that a code? Is this a code? This? Oh. This... Might be a code. Might be a code. For DVD. Someone should try it. Hmm. Okay. Let me take a picture of it though. It might be code for something else. Pardon me. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um. Oh, there too. Hold on. There's more. Is this... Okay. 1, B, 7. A, V, 4, 4. C, U, O, 6. B seven eight G Maybe it's white. Sorry about this, I'm just trying to write this down. It might be important. Knowing this, it's a password to something. So. 
I don't think that's a password to something. Definitely know that's a password to something. Like all this Demolition stuff. Demolition scheduled this year. See? Whoa. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. Oh, where? Where is it? Where does it say Demolition? I don't know. Okay, girl, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Space Invaders. Slay. Oh. Oh, we're missing. <laughs> Dang. Hit him. Oh. oh, he's missing it. Yes. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> it's fun. Sorry. Does this finish though? Does it ever finish to get an achievement for winning this? Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Ow. We've got one life left. Oh my god, why isn't it hitting it? Come on. Do it. Hit him. Why isn't it? Hit it. Oh my goodness. Yes, I did it. Okay, finish now. So I just thought you could get something from that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Sorry, guys. Sorry guys. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. No, missing kid again. Betty Barker. Mm. I know that one, that's Hags thing. Hags one. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so we're about to close in, like, two minutes, so... Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Mm. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Oh. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rat... Girl, don't you have a fucking boyfriend? Girl, don't you have a boyfriend? Um, hello? Um, don't you have a boyfriend? Guys, doesn't she have a boyfriend? Hello? She, she went there to go see that boy? Um, you're cheating, girl? You're cheating? Because you like this... Action too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. <sighs> Whatever I can wrestling. get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if mm. you're into that kind of thing. Mm. <sighs> Super into it. But... <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the... I thought so. <laughs> I thought that was his dad. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, guys. What if Frank Stone thinks he's dead, though, but the girl said that he's alive still, like, his corpse. But still, like, what if the mill recognizes him as the, um, Fr like, Frank Stone as the cop that killed him? His dad killed Frank. He watches that mm. place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. He looks so like his father. He does. Looks such like his dad. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just... Wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Oh, I do. But you gotta tell me one thing. Is it true? What really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. The real story. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Nah, I, I couldn't. Come on! All right. But you've got to promise to keep it to yourself, all right? Scout's honor. They called it the steel mill. But it turns out... You can't steal a mill. All right. You got me. <laughs> this is what I do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh. This is the tension. You ready? That's cute. Take care. This is a real dad joke. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I 
can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> you have a boyfriend. Like, what's with you, girly? I have a fucking boyfriend, bro. Girly, Paul. Have a I bloody have worn boyfriend. many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. Allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. I knew it. I knew it was a new timeline. Because the poster was different. I knew it was a new timeline because the poster was different. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys. Okay, we're back here now. We're back here now. We're back in the present moment. Oh. Okay. Oh, Madison, yes, Madison. Like the TV, the TV connected to Madison. What if Bonnie is Madison's mum? That's what I'm thinking of. And like. Bonnie is Madison's mum, I feel like. I'm not sure. I'm just... It's all speculation, guys, until it's confirmed. But I feel like that's tr the truth. Bonnie is Madison's mum because she said New York. And, like, everyone's connected to, like, you know. Hmm? And she keeps having visions about the entity. Bad dream. Oh. I'm playing as her! Oh, my God. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm playing uh, as Linda! I guess I just dozed off a bit. Slay. Wait, what happened oh, slay. to Augustine again? She Madison. Left. left. She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. <sighs> hey, now that we're all awake again, we forget about Augustine. Like, what if she can control both timelines? Like, she can control in the past and the, the future and, like, the past. Like, she can... Which is weird. Because she said she went and then she was... That lady, and then I don't know. Maybe she's in both places at once. Maybe for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room. Mm. Thousand oh, thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh, guess we were all playing it close to the <sighs> best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, mm. right. Whether you take credit <sighs> for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So... All of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so mm -hmm. rare, only a few people know for sure. So this thing. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it... I have to sit up because she's gonna have to breathing. Up. Hold on. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way toward... Because Maddie 
had the film, so she has to be involved. Like, someone has to, her mum had to have it, or someone. So, I feel like Bonnie is her mum, for some reason. Because, I don't know, I just sense it, you know. I don't know. Plus, she did sort of look like Bonnie in a way, you know? So, maybe. That's for sale. So the motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? Let's peek. Good to know more. <sighs> yeah, let's go. But he's being like, I don't know. But I do want to know more what she's up to, to be honest. I do. Even though it might be not good. It might be not good. But, yeah. We need to know more. For the... F so we can help the f past, you know. We need to know what's... We need to know stuff in the future. So we can help the past. But it's a new timeline, so shit might be different. But who knows. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're Lydia. Yeah, we're her. What? Oh. You know, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Mm. You walk see a cash, but not like this kind of cash. Shit. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, mm. not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. <sighs> how do you know about Mer Merida Mill? Yeah, how do you know? Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. <sighs> you want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the mm. more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it in the legend. Mm. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Mm. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something mm. doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I, I jumped at the chance. Mm. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. Who's so, what us? have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not mm. as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Mm. Like, why is she wearing them glasses? Like, did something happen to her eyes or something? Like, can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Like, what's I wrong with your love eyes? Love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, oh. the shoes are Italian, and a belt. The I tree. I, I forgot where that's from. I can't remember where the tree's from. I can't remember. I can't remember. But I know the tree, the big willow tree. You run around. He's got a guy who's got oh, pants I trim. so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know. Who also Let's look at the picture. Which is like a super limited. What if we see the observer? <laughs> but I, I forgot what he looks like. The observer. I can't remember. But you want to know a secret? He sort of looks like him. Sure. I found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. Mm. Interesting. Oh. Why did she cut their faces out? Weirdo. Creepy. She cut the faces out of the window, uh, yes. out of the picture. Let's check out the other floors. Good thing. Weird. Wait. 
H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... Guess who was right? I was right. Well, Mr. Detective, Mr. Detective... Because the mum did look like Bonnie a bit. I knew what it did. I knew. I trusted my instincts. Good detective. How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Creep? It's just a creep. Sorry, I'm still eating. Hurry. Sorry. Cool statue. Billy! Oh my god! Missing a piece though. Oh my god. It's missing a piece. It's his weapon. What if we find it and it unlocks something? Wow. Powerful as Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metal work. It's mm. beautiful. <clears throat> you know what opens it? We need to find Billy. Billy's arm. <gasps> Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Hmm. Lloyd. Hmm. Open. Oh, clipping. There's a bit of clipping there. <laughs> oh. That one fateful night, I had set one of my deputies over to check on things. Not my first choice. The flatfoot was out of the state, and that little green for my liking. The, the, the tummy cold, standing in the furnace. I thought I'd step the fiery depths of hell itself. There was stone standing behind the platform, like a twisted gargoyle. 
Mm. Sure, they go and do a deep breath and a silent prayer aim. Mm. Stone corpse was even cold before a bunch of towners descended to him to try and grab a piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, name it, more than a few wasn't sat weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it, said he must have had an accomplice to do what he had to do. Me. I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So, to all of those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Mm. Is that all though? Let me look. I should check on Maddie. Oh, let me look. That Frank Stone... Yeah, we know. We know who he was with. Is that all of it? Ten page. Oh yeah, that's all. Hmm. Yeah, we know. Catherine. I like these couches though. They're nice. What's in here? It looks oh, like it opens with a key. Hmm. Yeah. Key. Now, what would you do if it was you here There's... instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Who are you talking to? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you who's... talking to? Yeah, who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. <sighs> I was talking to my mom. To mm. Bonnie. Mm. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was much Like the dream. She was in the bedroom, if you didn't see the first bit, because the shippy thing. So she was in the bedroom, shoving a nightmare or something, and then um, she walked... She walked through the door, through the another door, through the another door, and each time the on the picture kept getting scratched out. And then also then a scary thing happened and she was in a forest and she walked and then scratch marks followed her and then her mum was crying. Um she turned on the TV also. I I did, I did. I don't know why I turned on the TV, but the T TV turned on. I turned on the TV and then the mum was crying and looked at us and she was like with these freaking scary entity eyes and the entity entity's claw went right through her body like and I feel like the entity killed her because she knew too much I think that's why I think that's why she died on um. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago, that night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. 
We were driving past the Rivera's mm. house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound mm. you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. Oh. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think mm. I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. She's having a vision Nothing again. Else. That was your mom. Oh. She envisioned that. Thank you. Hey. Hey, guys. <sighs> Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh, my God. There's someone out there. If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. A healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine? They might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right? Mm. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. Mm -hmm. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. We need okay. to get Billy's hand, Billy's weapon, to open it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's a policeman. He's out there. He's old. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. The van's already all loaded up. <sighs> I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Time to get cooking. You're cheating. Cause you like the other guy. You like what? him. Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got mm. a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Mm. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and... Yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't police. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Guys, I might finish off soon. I am getting a little bit tired. I am getting a little bit tired. I might finish off soon, guys. So, yeah, I did play, um... We have been playing, like, for... 
so 40, 50, 52, um, 2 hours and 52 minutes we've been playing, so, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Mm. Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. Mm. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? Hmm. I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. Yeah. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. Yeah, you were just victims. like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. Yeah. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. I don't really like That's her. How you make a good movie. I don't really like her, guys. She's a bit... She's... No, I don't like her. I don't... I don't... It's... It's... It's not good. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're, like, a little too excited about everything that happened there? Yeah, it's not good. Like, I mean, if it bothers you so much, for the victims. you can always stay home. Chris? Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Yeah, don't be cruel. Robert and I are going to look don't for like any you anyway, locations girl. in the mill connected Weirdo. to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. Weirdo. I don't like her. You're too obsessed. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I don't care about her. Anyway, guys. Anyway, I wouldn't. I wouldn't care if she died. <laughs> to be honest, because like, yeah. So yeah, we got Trapper. Yeah, we miss one thing. We miss one. But it doesn't matter. Hillbilly and the Trapper. And then, oh, we can see the books, artifacts. Yeah, I'm gonna head off now, guys. We're gonna go because we've been streaming for a while, like from four, five, six, seven for three hours or so. So, yeah. So I'm gonna head off now. Who's there to la to sh um raid though? Let me see. Who are we gonna raid? Let me see. Yeah, my friends on. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Not really. Not really. Hmm. All right, guys. Plus, it's like I'm getting hungry. I've been trying to have snacks, but also I'm getting really like. You know, um, hot and like, um, irritable a little bit, moving around in this chair. So, yeah. So, yeah, I did smudge and it's getting, yeah, I don't know how to explain. But, yeah, I'm getting hot and irritable a little bit and like, uncomfortable in this chair. So, yeah, I might, I'm gonna go. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm being a bit, bit crabby, but no, I'm not crabby. I'm just getting tired, you know? So, yeah. I'm going to go, Sam, no, Sam, Sam, oh no, Sam doesn't like us, hmm, curious, but she, it doesn't matter, because Chris is still, like, high up there, so it doesn't matter, um, yeah, it doesn't matter for me to tell her off, but yeah, hmm. Yeah, I'll play again on Friday, which is like, which is Thursday for y'all. So the same time at four o'clock. 
like which is 8 a.m. slash 9 a.m. for Americans, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah. So yeah. I'm going to be doing that on Friday. Because, yeah. Because Freaky Friday, that's what I always do. It plays these type of games. Because I played um, Man of Medan on Friday at night time. So, yeah. But I made a mistake also because when I was tired and I wasn't thinking, I made a huge mistake to late. And I, one person died. So, yeah. You should, you should, guys could, should check it out. It's really awesome. I love that series. It's on my live channel, Mystical Shona Live. Hold on, let me, let me, um, let me put it. So, Mystical Showdown Live. Hold on. Mystical Showdown Live. Hold on. Let me get it for a second. Hold on. Um, Twitch. I mean, no. YouTube. Um, oops. YouTube. Mystical Showdown. YouTube Mystical Show on Live. Hold on, sorry. Sorry if that's annoying. Okay. Mystical Show on Live. That Mystical Show on Live. That's Miss Christian. Miss Christian Live. Where is it? Here. Okay. It's on. You should check out my live channel, which I'm going to be putting this on there. Miss Christian on Live. So, yeah. If you all missed it, then that Mr. Christian on Live. There we go. And also, my YouTube is linked in my, um, in my bio. In my about me and you can look on there and then you go down to home and then um go to home and then go down to my other channels and that's there so yeah <clears throat> okay guys thank you for watching even though th this was really fun it's getting really interesting so like <clears throat> i'm trying to savor it as much as possible because i want to get overwhelmed and like you know get you know because i'm getting a little bit irritable because it's getting really hot in my bedroom because it's really muggy so yeah Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please, please check out my my live channel, Mystical Showdown Live, and my other YouTube channel, Mystical Showdown. And I have other two channels, um, my music channel and then my um, shooting game channel where I am going to post COD videos um, and um, Pokemon... Not, I don't know, maybe Pokemon Unite. But I didn't put Pokemon Unite. I just came in my head just then. I meant, um, not Pokemon Unite. Um, Marvel Rivals. See, my head's not in it at the moment, because, like, I'm getting tired, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. It's getting really hot in here, so. Because <laughs> I, it's been hot, because now it's spring. It's, like, getting muggy for some reason. So, I might need to put my fan on. I should have put my fan on to be honest, and kept continuing. But I didn't know it was hot. I have my fan right there still from summer in my bedroom. I should have put it on. But nah, I'm just, I'm gonna go because I need to, I want to go relax and like after all this stuff that happened, you know? Because yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Mystical Showdown out. Bye, guys. I'll be back on Friday. Or, or Saturday, I'll try. Friday or Saturday, I think. But probably Friday. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Mystical Showdown out. Bye, guys.